Soft Tippers, welcome to Soft Tip Central UK. And tonight we are going to bring you uh, one of the first uh, reviews in the UK of this board. Um, this is available. This is the Grand Board 3S that we're going to be reviewing for you today. Um, this is the the Blue Type 3S. Um, this is available exclusively in the UK from Darts Corner. Um, Darts Corner very kindly sent this out to us to review today um, and we're going to look at it. We're going to have a look and see what's in the box. Uh, we're going to go through some of the um, features and benefits of it, um, the online capabilities of it, the community that surrounds the board um, and basically probably as it says on the box the best darts experience at your home. Um, and as you know we've been sort of delving into soft for well over a year now um, and I would definitely say that in my opinion this is my favourite board. Um, it's the one that I consider to have the best online ability um, and structurally the board is extremely sound as well. So let's have a quick look at what we've got in the box. Okay guys, so I'm going to lay the uh, box out on the table in front of me. Um, I'm going to lift everything out of the box uh, and show you each piece individually. But what I will do is I will put a couple of images up beforehand what is actually within the box and how it comes out. Um, and I'll show you those images now. Okay, so in the box we have some posters, which are pretty cool. We've got these uh, Mission Darts posters. They obviously come in the box from the, from the guys at Mission, which shows you the Kronos Dart, and the Nero Dart. Uh, we have these reviews on coming up on the channel very, very shortly in the soft tip version. So you'll be able to see them following on from this review of the grab board. Um, so it's very, very well packaged as you saw from the pictures uh, in two sort of plastic foam side inserts. Um, and inside one of these inserts comes this, which is the backing plate for the battery option for the charging. So obviously there's two ways that you can charge this board and there's two ways you can get power to the Bluetooth connection, which then sends that signal to either your phone, your T9 Android box, your TV, etc. Um, so the first way is batteries, um, which is two double A's, which is like the ground board dash, um, but the 3S does work also on a mains power supply. What that mains power supply will get you instead of the batteries, it will get you the LEDs that go around the outside of the board. You cannot use the LED lights unless you actually have it plugged in. Word of advice though for the future, do not use the lead and the batteries together. Use one or the other, okay? Um, so also looking in here is the lead that I'm talking of. So this is the lead that comes in the box with the ground ball. Um, it is a USB-C and that works on a 1.5 amp USB-C, not a single amp, okay? Um, so you need to make sure that your your charger's 2.4 um, or anything above. I have a multi-charger which has three different um, housings in it that goes into one plug. I use it for my ground board and other soft tip accessories that I use um, while I'm streaming, etc. Um, so this is a two meter cable and that comes with it. It also has the ground branding on the actual on the actual cable itself. So you can always determine which one's your ground board lead, okay? Uh, in the box also we have housed in here. It's the big man himself, the ground board. So as you see, this is the blue type. Um, it has the, the blue one twenty five, uh, blue ones and fives and the black standard 18, 20, 12. Um, obviously the bullseye is blue, is a uh, red and black. And you've got the red button here. This is your player change button. And obviously the ground board is a plastic construction and it does have, I'll just take it out of its bag here. Out. and we'll see what's actually within the packaging here as well okay so inside here are your instructions okay so this is an instruction leaflet I think they send multiple ones out because it comes in multiple languages so obviously this is the English one uh, the basic knowledge of dance how to play of the three basic games that are on the ground um, and all the instructions of how to start a dance game so Obviously, creating your player cards, starting the ground board, setting up the Bluetooth connection, etc. Okay. Um, 
So the only way that you can get the LEDs to work is through the actual mains power source, okay? Now on the flip side of that, you have your assembly on the back there, okay? Uh, it tells you where to put the three screws that are on the wall, okay? And it tells you where to position. So measure two meters from the floor to this line. So you'd measure, you'd line that line up there. You'd measure two meters and then line that one up there. Stick it to the wall, okay? There's obviously little tabs there that show you where to tape it. Um, and then obviously you would then put a pilot hole in there, pilot hole in there, pilot hole in there. That's the easiest way to um, put the ground board on the wall. Um, is through the three, three screws. They also do supply what is called um, a U-bracket or a ground bracket, which is a U-shaped bracket that you can just slide the board on and off, which makes things a lot easier for switching boards because you can actually buy multiple brackets to use for multiple boards. So let's have a quick look at the back of the board. So on the back of the board, as you'll see here, there's kind of like an MDF perforated uh, backing there. And if you can see that little holes, and there's the, the four central holes there for that ground bracket that I was telling you about. So you would just screw the bracket into the center of the dartboard and hang that accordingly. These accessories hopefully will be available from Darts Corner soon. Okay, so keep your eyes peeled for those. Um, down the bottom here, this is quite important, this is your QR code for the board. This is what you would scan on your mobile app to register your board to your app, okay? Um, it's a bit like when you get your card from Nexus. It's the same principle, really. You're registering the board to you, um, and that validates your warranty as well. So it's extremely important that you do register that QR code, okay? So the construction on the outside is a plastic, and it is a round aperture board instead of a square aperture board. Um, the, the Nexus board is a square aperture board, board um, and this is a round aperture board. Where on the outside, it is square here to fit the Corona adapters in there that you can buy. Um, so all pretty self-explanatory really. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to go away and I'm going to show you a bit of the app and I'm going to guide you around that. Okay, so we are now looking at the Grand Board app on the main page. So we have loads of options with this and it is amazing how many options that we have. So obviously you have the game select button here, which we will touch. That gives you various options, i.e. online play, 01 games, cricket, medley, animal battle, practice, and party. So the, the sort of 01 game down to, to cricket are pretty self-explanatory. They're the two main games that you play on a soft tip ball. Then we come down to medley, which gives you the option in um, single player mode and non on offline mode of a three or five or seven leg medley. Um, animal battles this is kind of like a challenge yourself so you have the option to challenge yourself here uh, from level one to the mouse level nine to the lion um, i've currently got myself to gorilla level um, and i cannot beat that monkey for anything um, it's really difficult so any of you got higher than the gorilla let me know drop it in the comments and let us know what you've achieved on the animal battles um, so practice modes, there's lots, lots of multiple different plastic uh, practice modes on here. Um, count up, cricket count up, half it, delta shoot, um, honor and target ball, target tweet, treble 20, shoot force. Um, and you've got other options down the bottom here. Um, and there's a few to download. Now, obviously, you can get some, some grand coins um, when you sign up for the grand board and when you register online. And what I used um, my grand coins for was to buy uh, pirates and to buy spider as well these are great games for kids it's interactive for kids for them to to learn their counting to learn their out shots um, especially spider that's brilliant for sort of two or three dart um, out shots and um, pirates is superb for ball practice um, so they're really cool and then you've got the party options down here so you've got things like hyper ball treasure hunt hide and seek uh, fun mission you've got tic-tac-toe and beyond top so um, these are all sort of interactive games that you can play with people um, around your own home um, and you can play those and they can be very, very interactive and great fun as well. Um, I've downloaded Treasure Hunt. Me and the kids love doing that um, because obviously there's Treasure Hunt and then you've got sort of you find treasure and you find skeletons and you find shields and you find bombs and it's just a really interactive game getting the kids and yourself to play all around the board. So they are fantastic practice games. Um, so going back now, we're back into the, the main sort of area again, and we go into online play. 
So. Turn that down a bit, quite Okay, so this is the online mode. Now you have two options here in online. You have either um, the open lobby or the group lobby. Um, us at STC UK, we have our own group lobby, which is the STC UK lobby. Um, obviously, we have a password set on that, so people that follow the channel, you can jump into our lobby and play games. All of our grand board leagues are also played through the STC UK lobby. Now, these are great for if you've got a group of friends that all want to meet up, but you don't want to have to find each other in the open lobby. You can set yourselves up a group lobby that you can always meet on a Tuesday or Wednesday night and play your games together. Um, so that's the group lobby section. And then you've got the open lobby where you can just go in, you can choose your games that you want to play, click OK, send yourself into the open lobby. And this means that you can accept and invite anybody to these games that you would like to. So, for instance, if I wanted to invite Chico, I'd touch on Chico, I'd invite him to a medley, I'd choose the games that I want to invite him to, and then I would send the invite. So that is the online mode. Um, up here, if you are online mode on the top right hand corner, you can touch on that and that gives you your status, which tells you your current rating um, within the actual sort of game. So ratings do differ um, from CC right the way up to Triple S. Um, I'm an A and I didn't realize I was an A and I'm extremely chuffed that I've managed to get to an A because I've been a BB for about six months. And I've always been on the cusp, but I've actually made it to an A now, which I'm quite happy about. I didn't know that. That's really cheered me up. Um, and so I'll now guide you around some of the bits and pieces. So there's a section here um, called My Page. So this is My Page. This is what I set up. And you can edit and you can change your card. So you can change your nickname. You can change the icon that you use for your photo. Um, you can change the background of your card. Obviously, I've got Dylan on there at the moment. Um, you can change the the SNS, which basically gives you all the links for all of your social medias, so that people can find you. So for us, obviously, we've got I've got Soft Tip Central in there, um, and that's all of the links to get through to myself um, via the Grand Board, which is really cool. Now you can change your country. So obviously, I'm the United Kingdom, uh, but you can change it to any country that they have available. Um, and obviously, they are some of the the main settings. Um, for yourself and for your car then that's for your identity um, so this is the play data page so obviously on the play data page uh, it gives you all, a sort of breakdown of all of the last games that you've played all of the awards that you've hit so like this month um, sort of five counts six counts seven counts eight counts nine counts um, single balls double balls low tons high tons hat tricks ton 80s etc 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 so it gives you a breakdown of everything that you've um, achieved uh, it gives you an analysis as well of your 01 game and your cricket and it breaks everything down for you and gives you a, a mental rate um, the mental rate at the bottom on the left hand corner um, is basically how many times you hit two balls eyes and then you hit the third one to get that hat trick so that's the mentality and so I've had it 21 times in 30 games and I've hit it 10 times out of 21. So that's a pretty good, I'm quite happy with that. Um, so going back, so obviously you can also arrange um, practices. Um, these cost money, these cost, um, It's you can practice arrange, which basically means that you can you can buy for, for 20 grand coins the ability to, to play new games, um, trains your intuition, uh, even without the dart board, you practice with the darts mind. So this basically can help you to um, achieve achieve like different goals um, and improve your game and help you to to move forward. So also in, we have settings. There, some of these are quite cool. So you have your center settings. Now I have quite a um, quickish throw, so I've changed my response interval. I've moved that down to four. And now if you've got a long throw, you want to pop it up to about eight. Um, so if you've got very slow throw, if you're a Mensa you, or Justin Pipe, you want it on about 12. If you're a Michael Smith or a Rapid Ricky Evans, you're probably going to want that on about a one or a two. So I'm on at four at the moment and the out sensor sensitivity is set low because sometimes you can have um, some very sort of some darts that miss every now and again, and that can be really frustrating. Um, 
So you set your ounce sensitivity down to low, about four is where I have it, and I don't experience any missed darts, which is really handy. LED setting, awesome little option this. Obviously you've got the LED lights around the edge of the ground board. I will show you that on my personal ground board um, very, very shortly. So you can change the color of your LEDs. So you can hit green and you can test. And you can test the colors and it will come up and it will give you the options. Um, so if I wanted purple, I can test that and it will show me that on the board. But I will show you that very, very shortly via a video. Um, Grand Mat LED, Grand Mats are available. Um, you can buy them direct from Grand Darts and American retailers. I don't think they're going to be stocked in the UK. Um, and you can also set it up so you can set it up with your Hue lighting. So if you have Hue lights at home, um, the HUE lights that are the interactive lights, you can actually set up your Hue lights to interact with your board and flash with hat tricks and strobe light when you hit a bullseye and stuff like that, which is pretty crazy if you want to create a, an awesome all round sort of. Um, experience with the the ground board you can link it into your hue light uh, system settings over here multi-sensor system beacon notification setting turn that multi-sensor system off there is no need for you to have that on you'll have nothing but grief if you do switch that on um, it basically I've touched on the question mark there so the new sensor system reduces as much as possible the out wrong response repeat response when one hit wrong response when touched by finger etc um, so yeah, it's basically, um, it, it helps to to stop miss scores. Um, I found that it actually missed score more when this was on than what it did when it was off. Okay. Um, also on the app, you can turn the sound off. You can turn the, you can turn the award film videos off. So if you don't want the, the low ton, the hat trick and all of those animations to come up, you can actually switch those off. Um, you can turn auto change on so they automatically change. Um, and it gives you all your Bluetooth connections down at the bottom. So that's your settings. Um, you also have friends lists. So obviously you get people that invite you to be friends. So you can, instead of adding favorites, you can invite people to be friends on your list. And obviously there's a few of the, uh, the usual suspects there. You've got Hunter, Shane from Bullseyes and Brewskies, uh, Lina, Yoke, STC USA, Happy Gilmore. Um, there's a few few pros sat on here somewhere as well. Yeah, there's one, 23. Um, there's another one, Bish. Um, you've got the likes of, I think we had, um, you've got Bam Bam on there. I've got the likes of Jeff Smith on here. Niels Darts there, Ricky Jackson, Sarah Milkowski. There you go, the silence of Jeff Smith. There's a player on the grand. Bullseyes and Brewskies. There's a few on there. So you can have your friends list and, you, and it will tell you over on the right hand side, as you can see there, who is playing and who is actually online on the board currently. Um, so that's basically the ground board app. Um, and like I say, I'll go to a little summary now and let you guys know what I personally think about the board. Okay, so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna have a few throws at the ground board for you. I'm gonna let you know what it sounds like because it's extremely important for people to play softy when they're at home and the kids will sleep upstairs, how loud the board is. I know boards can be quite loud. So I'll throw a few darts. As you know, some can be quite loud. The ground board actually isn't that bad. Um, there's a foam pad within the back of the board that deadens the sound um, and helps to protect the matrix as well. Um, obviously the LED ring around the outside, let me just switch this off and switch it on again so you can see them turn that plasma off there switch that off so you can see the led ring around the outside glows multicolored and rainbow colored hopefully you can see that on the video um, and that sort of lights up the areas that, that you can hit that you can't hit in cricket it shows you where the opponent hits so every time your opponent online throws a dart it will light up where they've hit the board uh, which means you can sort of semi keep tracks on how they're playing so yeah, really, really cool, really, really bright. Loads of energy from this board. An absolutely awesome online community. Right, let me give you a summary of what I think of the Grand Board. Okay, to summarize the Grand Board 3S. Um, phenomenal board, 
great for getting online, great for playing remotely from the comfort of your living room uh, against people all over the world. Um, I play people from America regularly, Israel, Germany, Holland, Spain, France, all over the world. Um, or we'll play anybody and anybody will accept in the lobbies. It's fantastic, fantastic bit of kit. Um, it also stores all of your information in this board through your app so the app can be downloaded on Android and on the iStore. Um, you can get them for, for Apple iPads, you can use it on phones, you can do loads of bits and pieces with them. Um, so what I suggest to you guys is to go over to Darts Corner. These are £235 and 95 pence, including that. It's an amazing deal. I couldn't get these for any less than £270 um, when I was helping people and trying to get them in the UK. Um, so that price is phenomenal. Um, the guys are doing an amazing job of getting these out into the UK. I know they're selling extremely fast. Get yourselves out there. Get yourselves a Grand Ball 3S. Come and join us in the lobbies. Come and join us at Soft Tip Central UK, the USA, and, and just come and play darts and let's have some fun because this is what this is all about, building the community and having loads of fun. Thank you so much for tuning in. We go again. Don't forget, tune into Darts Corner and have a look at their website. Head over to the Mission Darts YouTube channel as well and you can check out some of the soft dip darts that you can get to play on this board.